This beat is about to be crazy, yo. Like, I'm about to go nuts on this right here. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. As normal, cooking up some boom bat. And I was digging and I found this perfect sample. You know how I feel about those perfect samples. This one's pretty perfect to me. I play it. this though this song is six minutes and 45 seconds crazy so i love it and i'm gonna chop this up today and you know what i'm saying rip this up rip this to shreds for y'all the artist is the trap the flower traveling band the song is called that's all for you guys that are always like hey he, give me the sample name there it is all right <laughs> so yeah let's go ahead and get into the video chop this up get the cooking that boom back but if this is your first time watching though make sure you subscribe hit the bell button turn on all notifications so you don't miss any more videos yeah let's go ahead and get into it y'all let's cook that boom back i hope i inspire you guys to go create let's go on that right there and it sounds like a like a sample pack it doesn't even sound like an actual like sample it sounds like somebody made it for a sample pack you know what i mean couple different shops that I'm gonna like mess with that one that I just grabbed though it sounds different than the normal sample I don't know maybe this could be like like a uh, maybe the hook or maybe the intro I don't know but now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to find like a drum loop All right, so I got a drum loop. Now what I'm gonna do is go find the kick, you know, of course throw the kick on top of the, the drums. So I EQ'd the drum loop to kind of take the lower end out of it, just to sweep that out. And then, you know, that way the kick has room to shine. So I'll probably um, do a little side chain compression from the kick to the drum loop. So that way it still kind of ducks when the kick, you know, hit. And if you guys don't know how to side chain, there's a video on the channel. Just search uh, how to side chain FL Studio, the beat majors, or they call me heat and it'll come right up. Thank you. 
let me lay the sample down because that sounds too nuts right so far like that's crazy Chop the sample in 32 beats as well. So now I'm gonna probably take the tempo down to kind of make it a little bit more spookier. I hear Conway on here for sure. I, I definitely hear him. <laughs> Okay, so I decided to go up in the pitch. So now I'm up 300 semitones or three semitones. So it sounds good. I feel like what I should do now is probably add like a bass. I like this so far. This is dope, man. If y'all like this and you feeling this beat so far, give it a thumbs up. Show other people this video, okay? So that they can understand how crazy this boom bap is. So I've added the bass line and what I've done is I've bounced it down to audio that way because my, I don't have the full version of Sakura. So because of that, it, the audio drops out here and there. And I know you guys have heard that in the past, like past videos. Uh, so I bounced it down as audio that way. Now I can manipulate it my own way prior to, you know, having effects and stuff like that. play it so you guys can hear. I like that so far. No, I'm, I'm, I need a crash. I got this shaker right here. 
I feel like it'll just kind of fit just to, you know, fill in like the, just those empty holes. So I pulled the old faithful out poison. Um, now again, this is like Sakura. It's not a full version of it because I only have the producer edition of FL Studio. So it comes with the demo version of like Sakura poison things like that. So that's why I only have the demo. So I'm gonna I have like this lead idea in my mind. It's really just gonna be ducked off in the back. You know, it's not gonna be anything crazy up front. Just like some ambient sounds for the background for you know the point of keeping the listener listening you know what i'm saying when they change it up from the verse to the hook back to the verse whatever they may be doing there's a change that makes you you know hear something different happening with the beat so that's what i'm going to do So I think I'm pretty much done. There's one more thing that I do want to add, and it's like a stab sound, you know. But other than that, I mean, as far as the beat goes, I'm pretty much done. This mug is fire, though. Like, <laughs> this is hard. I liked it. And the sample, it didn't feel like, you know, you were getting it from an actual, like, vinyl sample. It was like someone made it. Like, if someone did essentially make it, but it sounds like it just came from an actual sample pack and not vinyl. So that was dope. Dope, dope, dope. If you guys are feeling this, make sure you guys get a video thumbs up. If this is your first time watching, make sure you subscribe. Turn on all notifications as well so you don't miss any more of the videos, okay? And until next time, y'all, I hope I inspired you guys to go create and I'm out of here.